This is a webcam, and this is me. And in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make your stop motion animations with a webcam. Side note, this tutorial is specifically geared toward the Logitech webcams and how to animate with them. The webcam that I use is a Logitech C920. When I bought this webcam, it was 15 US dollars on Amazon. But now, the price has really skyrocketed. <laughs> However, there are plenty of cheap alternatives that I've found. The first step to using the webcam for animation is to download the Logitech Camera Settings app. It's a free tool that you really need to get started. After you have that downloaded, plug in your webcam and open the Logitech Camera Settings app. When you open the app, you'll find plenty of settings to mess around with. First, you have your camera field of view, standard or widescreen. Next is your flicker and zoom functions. On the next tab, you'll find a few more settings. You have the brightness, contrast, focus, saturation, and auto white balance. You can customize these any way you like, but I'll go ahead and show my personal preferences on screen. After you've adjusted your settings, close the settings app and open your animation software of choice. I use Stop Motion Studio, but it works with any animation software. All you need to do is open up a new project, connect your webcam, and then begin animating. A few moments later, When animating an impact or an action scene, it's a good idea to add motion blur to certain shots. All you need to do is set your camera on a shot timer, start the timer, and throughout the time when it's ticking down, tap the webcam softly. Your product should be a slightly blurry photo, which can really help sell the impact or camera movements in your film. If you don't have the pieces for building the camera rig, you can just stick a wad of clay underneath and attach it to the set. And there you have it. That's how you do stop motion animation with a webcam. If you're still watching this, I'm assuming that you like this video or the content that I put out. So make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video around. It really, really helps. By the way, I'm super close to hitting a thousand subscribers, and I really want to hit it before I upload my Fireteam Nova stop motion. So please, please, please help me get there. And if you don't know anything about my Fireteam Nova stop motion, click the video on screen to learn more about it and see some behind the scenes footage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.